Scrooge. He took his melancholy dinner in his usual melancholy tavern. And having read all the newspapers and beguiled the rest of the evening with his banker's book, went home to bed. He lived in chambers which had once belonged to his deceased partner, Jacob Marley. They were a gloomy suite of rooms in a lowering pile of building up a yard. Now, it's a fact. There was nothing at all particular about the knocker on the door of this house, except that it was very large. Also that Scrooge had seen it night and morning during his whole residence in that place. Also that Scrooge had as little of what is called fancy as any man in the city of London. And yet Scrooge, having his key in the lock, saw in the knocker, without its undergoing any intermediate process of change, not a knocker, but Marley's face. Marley's face. with a dismal light about it, like a bad lobster in a dark cellar. It wasn't angry or ferocious, but it looked at Scrooge as Marley used to look, with its ghostly spectacles turned up upon its ghostly forehead. As Scrooge looked fixedly at this phenomenon, was a knocker again. Poo-poo, he cried, and he closed the door with a bang. 